Today we're going to plant a garden and talk about whether or not we should follow our heart. Hey folks, welcome back to the vlog. As you may know, for the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna be helping out more with the vlog while Bracken's working on uh, more of recording music. And so this is a little bit of a stretch for me. It's out a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I'm trying to step up to the plate to be a little bit helpful to give Bracken some relief. And so hopefully you'll be blessed by some of the things that we're gonna share and do over the next couple of weeks. Today is an absolutely beautiful, warm spring day, so today we thought we'd get outside and do a little bit of gardening. The boys are playing a little bit, and I was just thinking um, along the lines of, of following our heart. Um, a few years ago, I was really struggling with some issues in my heart. Um, we were in the middle of making some decisions, big decisions. We were in the time of transition and I, my heart was just full of fear and anxiety. I knew that my heart was weak and I didn't want to be um, led by the feelings and the thoughts that were inside of my heart and my mind. And so I decided to do a Bible study and I looked up in a, in a concordance every single verse that had to do with the heart. And I wrote every one of them down. It took me a long time. In doing that study, I learned that I shouldn't be following my heart, the feelings that I have or the thoughts that I have that are not um, thoughts that are surrendered to the Lord. I just thought to myself, I don't want to allow my heart to control me. I want the Lord to control me, what He says about things, not the way I feel about things or the way I see things. And so we need Him, we need God to purify us and to clean our hearts out. And that's an ongoing thing, it's an ongoing work. Right now, we are in a garden that we've already planted. And Joseph, what have we planted so far? Uh, spinach, radishes, and kale. That's right. And Forrest is helping to water the garden. Thanks, Forrest. Have you ever heard anybody say, follow your heart? Do you think that's a good thing to do? Nope. Why not? Because uh, we learned a Bible verse that says, keep your heart with all diligence, because out of it spring the issues of life. Yes. So that's one, that's one thing that's true that the Bible says. And I know we've talked about this before in other vlogs, but we need to keep our heart with all diligence because out of it spring the issues of life. Just like in a garden, weeds come up. It takes almost daily diligence to tend to a garden. So our heart is the same. We should be more so concerned about the state of the soil in our heart, the weeds that are in there, all of these things. It's just so important. And I think that it's the heart of what Jesus is talking about a lot of times. He's more concerned about what's on the inside than what people are doing on the outside, how things look or appear. He wants our heart to be fully transformed, to be purified. And we need his help with that every day. We're going to plant some calendula which I like to use for salves and things like that. It makes a really pretty flower. Salves? Salve, yeah. Salves. Salve.
my prayer has been lately that God would just purify my heart. I need his help with that. It's an ongoing thing. I'm faced with just the the mess that is within me and I, I am grieved with it often. But instead of being discouraged, I would encourage you just to press into his word. The solution is to come to him, to ask him to clean you, to purify you, to make you new, to give you a new heart. And he will do that. Thank you for your help today with the vlog yep. and thank you for answering my question earlier but I wanted to ask you one more time mm -hmm. should we follow our heart no okay so if we shouldn't follow our heart what should we follow God and how can we do that by trusting in him trusting in him following him following him so this week our encouragement to you would be that you would trust in God that you would seek his word and see what he says about things if there's something that you are not sure about um, just take it to God take it to his word study his word those are all helpful things that will draw you closer to him and understanding what is his will and how can you follow him more closely so with that we hope that you will be blessed this week that you will draw closer to him we love you guys God bless you and we'll see you next time